From this airbase in the middle of the desert, the United Arab Emirates has been launching its cloud seeding operations, a way of artificially triggering rain. We do our inspections and then we start. Assalamu alaikum. Morning. Ahmad is one of the pilots. He's inspecting these special cartridges loaded with salt-based compounds. I'm ensuring the cartridges are properly closed and connected to the electrical cables. It works with an ignition system which allows sodium to be injected into the cloud. Now we should be ready, God willing. Look, no clouds. More or less, it's a clear sky. Uh, chances still available, but we'll wait for it. This is our daily routine. Six hours later, clouds from Oman drift over the border. Ahmad has very little time before the cloud masses dissipate. The slightest delay could ruin the operation. Oh. We've been given special permission to board this flight, one of the 400 flights organized by the UAE each year. Now. We have the radar and we are visual with the cloud. So we can decide and determine if it's there, yes or These jets are equipped with cartridges on both wings. As they come into contact with clouds, they release sodium particles that attract water vapor in the hope of forming raindrops. After an hour and a half of flying, it's back to base. Mission accomplished for Ahmad. A little bit of naughty clouds. Subhanallah, <laughs> we okay. We were lucky, thank God. The rain starting. It's the cloud we seeded, and now we can see the result. It's our pride and joy. The government invested in it, and now you can see the results. It's not magic, it's a God-given science. But it doesn't work every time. It rains less than 100 millimetres a year in this desert country, and this year has been one of the driest the Emirates has ever seen. To recharge the water table and ensure not a single drop goes to waste, 150 dams have been built across the arid landscape. Emiratis welcome the torrential rains. Storm chasers have mushroomed across social media. The authorities have even asked worshippers at mosques to pray for rain. A hundred and fifty kilometers from the airbase, the National Meteorological Center analyzes the weather for the next five days. Here they track air currents all day long using radar in search of the best target. Uh, first location 2A3 at 1-2, 2A3 at 1-2. The pilot heads for the coordinates we give him. Here you can see the cloud is rising in altitude, meaning it's active, and we can carry out a seeding operation because it will help increase rainfall. According to the authorities, this technique increases annual rainfall by at least 5%. Over the last 10 years, the government's invested more than 19 million euros into the field, including grants for 800 researchers from around the world. The director says it's a sector where advances are only just starting to be made. It's a niche field which requires a lot of research. There are no limits. The sky is the limit. It's the sky. We're very keen to share our expertise and techniques with other countries around the world, specifically with countries that are also experiencing drought and need access to water. Cloud seeding also acts as a form of soft power for this petro-monarchy. 
It helps to position them as a leader in this cutting-edge technology in a region where access to water has been declining. To independently measure its impact, we headed to the Lebanese-American University in Beirut. This specialist in water resources in the Gulf sees cloud seeding as a diplomatic challenge. If I see the cloud and it rains over my land, it means countries downstream will not be getting the clouds or the enriched clouds that I captured. So they will get less rain, those that have money versus those that don't have money. Who owns the clouds? What is the legal question? So this is setting up legal uh, questions and issues that need to be addressed uh, amongst governments. Cloud seeding is still a limited solution in the Emirates and only provides a quarter of the country's water needs. The main source remains seawater desalination, a more efficient but also more expensive and energy-intensive technique.